What's up everybody? This is Kristen Naylor, your local real estate sales and marketing expert, bringing you frequently asked questions number two. So today we're answering the question, how much money do I need to buy a home? And my disclaimer to you really quick is that I'm not a mortgage person. I'm not a lender. So it is really important that when you get closer to buying a home, that you do talk to a mortgage expert because they're going to tell you specifically based on your credit, based on your financial situation, how much money you need to put down for a particular home or purchase price. So that's my disclaimer. Right now you can get a conventional loan for only 3% down. That's awesome. So if you have no interest in any other real estate, if you're on no other titles for real estate, you can put 3% down and get your first time home, which is great. Um, plus after that, you do have your lender closing costs. So you, unless you have cash to purchase a home, you're going to need to finance it. And so associated with that financing, you're going to have closing costs. And now those are roughly going to be about $5,000. And that will also include your appraisal, your title insurance, all your closing fees are going to be roughly five grand. And this would include your lender fee, what they have to put into escrow. As I said, title insurance, the closing fees, appraisal, all of this is going to be around five grand. Now you can potentially, if you have a really, really good credit, um, or depending on the lender, you can sometimes get a credit towards closing costs. So what that would be is if you have, as an example, Chase right now has the Dream Maker program. And if you have really good credit, they will offer you a great rate and a credit towards your closing costs just to help you make it, make it a little bit more in reach. So on top of that, we do have an inspection that you're going to have to pay for. So that'll usually be between $300 and $600, all depending on which inspection package you select and the square footage of the home. So as an example, a condo with one bed, one bath is going to be a lot more affordable in terms of inspecting than like a 4,000 square foot mansion um, that's on an acre of land, if you, get, if you get where I'm coming from. Now lastly, realtor commissions are free for the buyer. So it's awesome. Buyer's agents are paid for by the seller. So seller pays both their own agent and for the buyer's agent. And the great thing about it is if you're looking to buy a home, you don't have to calculate that into the equation because it's a free service. It's already been negotiated and worked out between seller and seller's agent. And so that is a free service for you. Now, you might be curious as to where people come up with this kind of money. So as an example, Chris and I, when we purchased our home in 2016, we paid $335,000 for our home and we put down $13,000. So for $335,000, we paid $13,000 and we were able to pull it out of Chris's 401k. So we did not have any liquid savings. Luckily, Chris was very good at saving for retirement, so we were able to take a loan out of his 401k that he would eventually have to pay back, um, and we used that as our down payment. Now, if you have an IRA, that's even better because you can pull money out of there um, without penalty. You do have to pay the taxes unless it's a Roth IRA, um, but you can take that money out for your primary residence, no problem. So you can pull it out of your retirement, or you can get a gift. So a lot of clients that I work with get a gift from their their family, usually their parents, sometimes their aunts or grandparents. I guess uncles you could throw on that list too. Um, but this, usually all you have to do is get a letter. They write a letter to the lender saying, we're giving our son, grandson, daughter, whoever, um, X amount of money for the purchase of a home. Really simple, great way to help uh, your kids buy a home without having to co-sign for them and be liable if they decide to stop paying their mortgage. So great way to do it. You can, this is a mattress by the way, and I'm pointing to under the mattress. So you can use your savings. If you have liquid savings, you can definitely use that for your down payment as well. Um, I've also seen a lot of clients pull equity out of stock. Um, so if you have some kind of compensation package with your work, that gives you stock options, you can pull some of that equity out and use that for a down payment as well. Lastly, you can side hustle. So this is getting very, very common in this day and age is on top of your normal job, you pick up a side thing that you enjoy doing to make a few bucks. So um, it could be selling furniture, it could be walking dogs, 
You could be doing Rover.com, Wag.com, Uber, Lyft. Um, you could buy thrift store furniture, redo it and sell it on the side on Craigslist and make a bunch of money that way. So side hustling is definitely a thing. So if you are, if, you, if all these other options are not an option for you, don't forget you can use some sweat and hopefully not tears, um, but some hard work and create your own savings uh, by hustling a little. So that I hope that's helpful. If you have other questions that you would like me to answer, um, I'd be happy to do so. Leave it in the comments below or direct message me. Um, let me know what you think. If you know other ways to fund a down payment or if I'm forgetting of a cost uh, that's not in here, please let me know. And as always, if you need to, to see any properties, get a home evaluation, give me a call. My number is 303-956-4948. Have a great day.